We're going to take a look at another feature found inside of Microsoft Word on the References tab. We're going to take a look at building a document index table. Take a look. Open in front of you, I've got the exercise file 28 Word Doc Index. Comes with this lecture. Make sure you download it. Once you get the document, open it up. Now, I've got a completed version of what we're about to accomplish over the next couple of videos. So yours isn't going to isn't gonna have all of this, but it will eventually because you're going to build it and it's going to be really quick. But first, what is a document index? Well, once again, the feature is found on your references tab. Over towards the right, you'll see index. Now, the process that we're going to go through here is very similar to what we just got done doing in the captions and the citations and bibliography. It's going to feel very similar. Take a look. So in here, people are going to read through my document, uh, but maybe they don't want to read through the entire document. They just want to learn about specific topics. You ever need to do that? You go out and buy a, a, a book, right? perhaps one for school or you know some textbook, and it's like, well, I'm not going to read the entire book. My instructor just wants me to study up on X topic. Well, where is X topic found within this massive document. That's where the index comes into play. So if I scroll down all the way to the bottom of this document, that's typically where indexes are found, I can see I've got an index. And it's got a few keywords in there and it tells me what page number those keywords are found. So I can see here video, if I want to want to read about video, it's on page 1, 2 and 3. If I want to read about themes, it's on page 1, 2 and 3 as well. They're all on page one, two, and three, but but I've narrowed down key keywords, key keywords, and I'm giving the users a map to find those keywords inside the document. That's really all an index is. So how do you create this? Well, I'm glad you asked, because the next couple of videos we're going to take a look at first marking the entries, marking what words we want to index, how do we want to mark them and then building the index. Once you mark it, you hit insert index and Word does it for you. Okay, Sound familiar? So get the document, make sure you download it, open it up, and then we're going to start marking it up with all the entries for our index. All right, first step in creating an index, we need to inform our document or Microsoft Word which keywords we want to include in the index. Take a look. I'm going to hop into my document and let's say design. That one stands out to me because it's blue and underlined, right? That keyword. Anytime that keyword shows up inside the document, I want to index it so that people can find it quickly and easily within this document. Well, let's go up to references. I'm going to go into index and I'm going to use mark entry. Now this opens up a window that I'm going to keep open as I go through and mark all the entries within my document. You can see because I had design highlighted, it automatically grabbed the main entry as design. That's great. That's what I want. So I'll leave it as is. If it didn't do that, no big deal. You just go double click on design. Let's say like theme just so I can see it change. I'll double click theme. I'm going to go down and click inside the main entry section and it'll use theme instead. Well, I want to do design. I'll double click design. I'm going to click down into main entry and I've got my design. Now I could put a sub entry in there as well. This would show up in the index. Okay, for now, I'm not going to touch it. Now it wants to know, well, how do you want to reference this within your index? Do you want to create a cross reference and have it say, hey, see whatever, see page three or see page whatever, or see chart on page three, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, you can do the current page, or if it happens across, hey, this topic starts on page three, but it ends in page eight. Then we say, hey, pages, so on. And we can bookmark it to that page. And then how do you want the numbers to show up in the index? Do you want it to be bold, italicized? You got your options right there. Well, for me, my first one at least, I'm just going to do main entry, design, and I'm going to come down here. I have a couple of options. I can just mark it, and that would mark that one keyword design right there, the one that I highlighted earlier, design right here. Or I can say mark all, and this would go through the entire document, find anywhere design shows up, 
and it would mark all the design keywords. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and say mark all. So now it's going through the document. It's really quick, but it's going through the document, finding anywhere the keyword design shows up, and it's marking it in the index as an entry within the index. You can see here they added this little field, XE design. And if I move this window out of the way, there's another one, XE design. And if I were to scroll through the document, there's probably a few more in here where design shows up. It marked each of them. Let's try this again. Still got the window open. Uh, I'm going to say picture. I'll get picture to double click. Now remember, next step, I go click and say the main entry. There it is. You know what? I want it to be a capital P. Let's just change that because this is the way it's going to show up in the index. It's still going to be current page. I just want to reference it by current page. Uh, let's say I'm going to make the page number bold. And this time, I'm just going to mark the one entry. Perhaps this is this is the important stuff. Yeah, you're going to see pictures show up in other places and within this book or this document. But this is where the meat and potatoes is at. This is where the topic is discussed in detail. So I'm just going to mark the one. There we have it. Picture, it's got a mark next to it. All right, let's do one more. Let's say video. Let's grab video here. I'll go click in the main entry. Got my capital V, great. Uh, current page, still bold. This time I'm going to mark all. Got everywhere video shows up is now marked as an entry. And I'm good. I can keep going through my document. Any of those high traffic keywords that you want people to be aware of and where they can find it, you mark it as an entry for your documents index. Now once you're done, and feel free to keep going, you don't have to just do what I did there. You can go wild if you like. You go ahead and close the window, and you've now got your document prepared for the index. But that's really the first step. You're marking up the document, getting the entry set. So do that first, then jump into the next video. We'll take a look at inserting the index itself. So the previous step, going through the document and marking the entries, that's the most time consuming part of building an index. You gotta go through your document, you gotta mark the high traffic keywords that you want users to be able to find within your index. Now that you've got that done, let's go down to the bottom of the document. This is typically, typically where an index shows up. I mean, you go grab a textbook, right, from school or from the library, you flip to the back of the book, you find the index. So I'm on the last page. Next step, go to my references, go into index, and I'm going to insert the index. Now this window should look familiar. We've talked about a few features in here. We saw table of contents and table of figures. Well, right next door, you got your index, got your preview. You can tell it to indent it. You can run them in. You can say they're just going to be right next door to each other. You can say it's going to be two columns or one or multiple columns, whatever it's going to be. And I'm going to right align the page numbers. If there's space, I've got a tab leader for those numbers. That's those little, little dot, dot, dots that we got there. And my format's going to be based on the template, whatever the document's template is. I'll hit OK. And there's my index. So remember that the first step, that's the most time consuming part, but building the actual index, done. Look at that. I got my design. It's on page one, two, and three. The single picture, bold number one. Got video, it's still bold. I left that checked for the bold numbers, but it's built the index for me, all based on the entries that I marked within the document. It's that simple. There's your index. Now, the index did turn on some extra markings and the page breaks and the paragraph markers and so on. It's not really something you're going to keep around inside the document, or perhaps. So I'll go to home and I'll turn off the show hide formatting characters. Get rid of that. That way I'm not getting that extra clutter. The little XE and the design or, or, or video or whatever the keyword was, those go away. You don't want to keep those. It's the index that the users are going to rely on to find those keywords. So try that out. References, insert index. Make sure you place your cursor at the bottom of the document. Insert the index. Pick your style. Turn on your options that you want. Got your index. Let's take a look at one more thing in regards to the document's index. Well, you've created it, you've inserted the entries, you've picked up those keywords, you've inserted the index, and Word did the magic for you. 
there's going to come times where you need to update a document's index. New keywords need to be marked as entries. The document is expanded. Or perhaps content's been removed and you need to update the index to reflect those changes. Well, this is pretty simple. Take a look. I'm going to go back to my document. I'm going to make another entry to my index. So I'm going to go open up the mark entry command. Remember, this is on the references tab. And inside my document, let's say uh, smart art. I found a keyword smart art. I'll, get, I'll give that a double click to highlight it. Go click in the main entry. There's my smart art. I'm going to leave the rest to default. I'm going to do the current page. I won't bold or italicize it. And I'm going to mark them all. Anywhere you find smart art, let's grab it. So I've now updated the entries. Let's close this window. I go back to my index, and I still got design and picture and video, but no smart art entry here. Step one, I've updated it. I made a change to the document. I've got a new keyword that marked as an entry, or I deleted text or added text or whatever it is. Now step two, I'm going to click into the index. I'm going to go back to references, and I'm going to update the index. And just like that, now I've got smart art inside of my index. There we go. One little button press. You had to update the, the document first, of course. You gotta do whatever's happening there, deleting stuff, adding stuff, marking new entries, whatever that is. That's the time consuming part. But once that's done, update it. You've now updated the index and you're done. Right? Very neat feature. Again, feel pretty similar to working with the bibliography, table of contents, captions and citations and so on. So make sure you try this out, get in there, update the document in some way, even delete stuff, try that out. See if you can get a page number to change or get removed or whatever it might be just by modifying the document. And then don't forget, update the index.